Not surprisingly, our proposal was rejected due to the proximity of the traffic circle to the intersection as well as the elevation over the motorway. What we're going to do now is create a new proposal. So you'll see I switch back to the master proposal, which is uh, the model as it was brought in from Model Builder. You'll remember this is the way it looked then. Uh, so what we're going to do now is create a brand new proposal. The information from the old proposal is still in there. It's just, in essence, turned off. When we create our new proposal, uh, one thing to keep in mind, you cannot have any spaces in the name of your new proposal. Uh, so we're going to give it a name. And now anything I create for this model will be created in the new proposal. So I'm going to jump out to the east side of our project and I'm going to create a new design road. I'm going to create a local road and use my proposed street style. I'll start picking places to put the points of intersection. And as you can see, I have a tooltip that pops up that allows me to input my length or my design speed. I'm going to enter a design speed of 30 kilometers per hour. This design speed is going to control the radius of the curves uh, that are drawn as I'm drawing in my center line. So I'm going to roughly lay out the center line here. We can always go in and edit this later. I'm going to draw a bridge across the motorway and then make kind of a, a tight curve back down into the traffic circle. Now, when I do uh, finish this, I'm going to end my draw and you'll see that the traffic circle updates for the new road coming in. Just like uh, uh, the intersection we looked at in the last lesson, this traffic circle can be manipulated as well. You'll see we have a little bit of uh, unwanted behavior. Every place that our design road crossed an existing design road uh, we put in a PVI which caused it to interact with, with the road at that location. So I'm going to go ahead and draw in a bridge. I'm going to draw my bridge all the way across. It's, it's a really unusual uh, shape for a bridge. And even though I've drawn the bridge in, I see that uh, the interaction with these objects is still drawing my bridge down to the motorway. So I'm going to delete those PVIs and then I'm going to leave one and elevate it so I've raised the bridge up over the motorway. I'm going to go in and, and, and adjust this graphically. And now I can start taking a look at some of my bridge edits. One of the things I notice is that one of my piers for the bridge is not exactly where I want it to be. It's encroaching on my road. So I'm going to go edit that. Once I select it, I can use the rotation grips on the pier to rotate it parallel to my existing road. And then I can also use the grips to move it and place it. And I'm going to do that for the rest of my peers too, uh, just to get them placed right graphically inside the model. I want to lower this area of the road down, so I'm going to throw in a PVI there and just grab it and lower it down closer to the existing ground. That's going to make that uh, look a lot better. It's going to resolve that grading a little bit better. I'm going to take this one and uh, lower it as well there in the corner so that uh, we don't have so much of a, a grading issue there to deal with. 
I can take this curve and edit it simply by dragging the curve radius. Uh, it gives me a maximum and a minimum curve that I can put in. I can drag that back and forth uh, to create different curve geometry. And now we have a model that we're ready to take into Civil 3D.